Hey, what's up? I'm Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create a slide transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. Alright, so that looks pretty cool. Let's have a look on how to create this and get started. If you enjoy my videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to make sure that you get notified when I upload new videos. Alright, here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and let's take a look on how to create that slide effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. I have two video files right here, which you can actually download with the link in the description if you want to follow along with the same footage. I will drag this into a new sequence right here, actually bring it into my slide effect, video 1 and video 2. So what you can do to create a slide effect is actually trim your video like this and bring them together, go to effects, uh, go to video transitions and slide push and apply the push effect right here. Now it's going to push the video like this. You can of course trim it, make it a little bit shorter and you have a slide effect. For some people this works, but for me, it doesn't do it because it's a very linear movement, meaning that from the first frame, it's actually going to have a constant speed until the end. So it's going to be very abrupt. It's not going to have a flow to it. So I don't really like it. So what I will do is delete my push effect and yeah, make my videos as long as I can again. And there I go. So what I will do is go to the end of my first video and go 10 frames backwards. So with the left arrow on the keyboard, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. We can bring the second video on top of it on a new layer and just let it meet together. So now we have a 10 frame overlap of our videos. So now we'll go to my first video and where the second video actually starts, we're going to effects controls right here and click on the stopwatch for the position of our first video. Then a little bit further away, we're going to just uh, bring it off screen. So uh, let's push it to the right and actually in check uh, the second layer so we can actually see our layer here and just push it to the right until it's off screen. And there we go, so it's off screen here. And we're going to bring this uh, to the end of course so we have a complete animation here. Then click on the second video and check it back on so you can actually see it. And right here at the end of the first video, so this is the last frame for the first video, we're going to click on the stopwatch for the position, this time already being in position. Then go all the way till the beginning and move it to the left. And actually again we should be able to see it, so we're going to start off here. So we're going one frame backwards and then just move it to the left until it's off screen again. And there we go. So uh, we can drag this keyframe all the way till the beginning. And now we're going to have a very linear animation, just like the push effect that we're used to. Now what I want to do is click on my first video and select both of these keyframes. And what we're going to do now is right click temporal interpolation and change it to a Bezier. This is going to make it a lot smoother, a lot more flow uh, going on here. But what we want to do is actually make it a little bit more extreme. So we're going to click on this arrow next to the stopwatch for the position. If we click on that, it will open up a graph editor. Here we can actually drag this down, drag it in a little bit, and then click on this last keyframe. Actually, we'll have to uh, click and drag it in a little bit to see this, and drag it down, drag it in a little bit, and put it back into position. There we go, so now we have a very ramping up uh, animation. So it's going to start off slow, speed up, till it's max speed, and then slowly comes to a stop again. We're going to do the same thing for the second video, so click on it. Select all of the keyframes, right click, temporal, interpolation, Bezier. We're going to open up the arrow right here and do the same thing again. And there we go. So now if we're going to take a look, as you can see, it's going to have a whoosh effect like a thoof. It's going to start off very quickly and come to a slow stop. So that looks already a lot better than uh, initially tried with the push effect. Now what I want to do is go back to the project manager and here I'm going to click on a new item. So on this icon and create a new adjustment layer, click OK and drag this adjustment layer on top of your video right here. Now go to the effects and go to a video effects right here, blur and sharpen and apply a directional blur to that adjustment layer. Go to the center of the adjustment layer, so that's at a 5 frame overlap of the uh, videos below it, so you can see it's perfectly in the center. We're going to change the blur length to 50. 
as you can see the blur is vertical at the moment so what we want to do is click on the uh, direction value and change it to 90 and that's going and that's going to make it horizontal so that's what we want then we're going to click on the stopwatch for the blur length like this and go to the beginning and change it back to zero go to the end zero and let's preview pretty cool so that's how we create a slide effect of course you can animate it to the left to the right top or bottom it's up to you same principle is used there so play around with this effect it's really cool if you want it to last a little bit longer or take a little bit longer to swipe uh, just um, make the overlap a little bit longer maybe 12 or 14 so try to have a even number of frames to overlap with so you can perfectly center the blur but apart from that just be creative and test it out okay so all right that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did give this video a like and definitely subscribe to the channel for more and also check out our website we have a bunch to offer and if you buy something from our website it helps to support the channel so i'll see you in the next one and goodbye